No. My name is Max. I live in New York City with Tamara. I meet the Tamara in Italy. The destiny, we are together for 22 years. Do you know she thinks she's the boss of the house? My dogs, Beanie and Munchkin, are both three years old, and they're Maltese from the same litter. Girls, down. Go down. Come on. No. Go down. No, I don't want them on the couch. Come on, B. These dogs, they love me so much. Anywhere I go, they have to be next to me. Let's go with this scooter. We are going to motorcycle. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Has he got them in front of the scooter? Hello. Oh, here comes Max. Oh. Max arrived on a scooter with his two little babies in what looked like a baby carrier. Oh. So this is Beanie, that's Munchkin. This is a Beanie, this is a Munchkin, yeah. Right, he loves these dogs. I know you love me, I know, I know you love me. What can I do? It's obsessive. In my opinion, no. it's she's so no. attached to him. Go get it, go get it. Munchkin. In our relationship, I, I'm probably the bad cop and he's the good cop. Oh, come on, Tamara. Beanie, come on. Here, B, go get it, go get it. Good girl. Do you see? They don't like you. She doesn't like you. I think she's jealous. Sometimes she, off that couch. Go down. I don't let them on Wait, the so wait a second, You Sorry. do, and yeah. you don't. Mm -hmm. But then isn't it confusing? Yes. If you say you, they can, and she says no, and so sometimes they can, sometimes they can't, and then you tell them off when they do, I know, I understand. So there's got to be a rule. Our relationship is getting worse. You know, it's accepted to getting better. She's coming home. With the small time that we have together, we get argument for the dogs. Then we don't have the life together. They, when they sit on the, next to me, they say, go down. We say, oh, why? Why I have to tell, uh, put the dog on the floor? It's next, sit next to me. I have watching my TV. I have to find to, okay. to cuddle them. Why you call it? <gasps> From when she opened the doggy daycare, she thinks I'm like the dog too. <laughs> you know what? I, I am a bit of a micromanager, okay? No, my you son. don't say. <laughs> I have lost patience and I do fight with Max a lot. I just got a new couch and I don't want the dogs on the couch. I don't know how to stop it. Okay. No, when she says stop, she's peeing on the floor. Yeah, she'll pee. She went for a period where she never, ever did that. And then she started doing it, and no, I thought because no, dogs No, 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 no. They were doing the pee from first that you bring in. No, 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 I no, told no, no, you, no, no. you didn't uh, believe me. No, honey. OK. Well, what you I... can see how the marking is on the floor. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I can. It makes us to change the carpet yep. now. We have several stains all over the place in here. I have caught Munchkin peeing on the carpet, and I have spots all over the carpet now because she decides that she wants to go out for a walk and come back in and pee on the carpet. We had company. Can I tell you what happened? We were having a party, and I just bought that, and I just put it in the bathroom, and I see it rolled up, <laughs> like sitting near the door. Did you try and hide it? And I was like, What can I do to save my life? I went to life? show my friend this nice fluffy carpet <laughs> that I like to put my feet on when I come out of the shower, and I see it rolled up. And I said, Are you kidding me? Immediately. And I picked it up, and there was pee on it. Max really tries hard to cover up for the girls when they behave badly. Trouble is, he always gets caught. Tamara always gets angry, and so plan backfires. We're going to address Munchkin's peeing okay. in your apartment. One of my biggest problems was the peeing on the floor. What is that? No. What is that? Munchkin. What's that pee pee on the carpet? Max is walking Munchkin, bringing her back in the house, and that's when she's doing the pee. So we're gonna walk Munchkin by herself. We're gonna take her down. We're gonna let her walk around, maybe walk around the block. We're gonna come back up into the apartment, and that's when the time when she's normally gonna do it. Yes. Immediately, we're gonna take her outside again. Because I think what she does, she comes up here and she goes, oh, okay, now I'm in the nice and warm, I'm gonna go. <laughs> but then you take her right out again, <gasps> okay. She understands. Okay. So we're gonna fool her brain. So yes, give her some nice leash. Yeah, let her sniff around and... Leashes are the Good. Uh-oh. Good girl. 
I'm sorry. Nice, nice lots of praise. Good. Good she girl. did it. We bought Munchkin outside 20 minutes after she'd eaten, and she peed and she pooped like a dream. After she's done it, we continue the walk, because what happens is that some dogs, they, they'll urinate, and then when they've done their toilet, the person takes them right back inside. The dog goes, wait a second, I toilet, and then I get taken back inside, so I'm not going to toilet. <laughs> I'm going to wait. Have more fun. Have more fun. Have now, if she hadn't have gone, what we'd have done is we would have walked, gone back up to the apartment, and then come straight out again, and do it again and again and again and again Auntie and she... again until she went. You have to be consistent, because if you're not consistent, these dogs don't have no, a chance. I will do consistent. But the, if I teach something, <coughs> if Tamara is something, something different, these guys get confused. Yeah. This technique is all about being consistent, but it's going to take time. So I really hope that Max and Tamara have the patience to see it through. But both of them have to be on board in order to teach these dogs. Very yes, good. Yes, let's go. Tamara doesn't like the dogs on the furniture. Max does like to put the dogs on the furniture. This big issue, this consistent argument, can be solved just very simply. OK. I wanted to give you something that dogs could lie on on the sofa. The visual cue of the mat goes on the sofa means that they can come up and sit next to you. No dogs on the actual physical sofa. Right. And they can only come up when they're invited. Yes. When you have the mat next to you. So it can be on your lap or the mat. And okay. that's going to hopefully keep you both happy. There has to be some type of, there's give and take on both sides. There's got to be a happy medium here. Right, so, yeah. The reason why I made it blue, dogs can see the color blue very easily. Easier. Dogs aren't color blind. Actually, what their vision is very sort of more muted. I always thought that dogs were color blind. And I just found out today that they're not. Oh, she beanie girl. There you go. Dog, do you like that? How do Good. I keep her from not going on the rest of the couch? Well, I had a blanket, and they would still try to come. Yeah, no, just say, uh-uh, and just put them on the blanket. Okay. And then we're on the, when they're on the blanket, they get good things. OK. They get plenty of praise. They get plenty of attention. I think they'll get it, absolutely, yes. Hi, baby. Hi. All the techniques that we've been doing on the walk in your home is going to hopefully create a more harmonious household. I hope so. I will be following your progress. My job as a trainer is to go into people's homes, to work with them and their dogs, and to leave them in a better place. And that's what I hope I've done. Thank you so much. Good girl, good girl. Good girls, yay! I'm so happy that Max and Tamara are making such great progress with their dogs, and they continue to do this, their dogs will continue to thrive. <laughs>